Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about uh, of of techniques and obsidian techniques that I've been using for my obsidian valves, which is called which is called the uh, uh, tag properties. Um, this feature is not included in the basic obsidian, but uh, I made it. I, I created this feature using the formatter template, uh, which is a plugin developed by me, which is really cool. So basically, I can uh, define the the formatter of my file using uh, using JavaScript, and then yeah, when I click save, uh, let's say I remove all the things. John is my best friend. Let's say I want 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 to do something like this, write a file about John, and then when I tag person, and then I click save. Uh, I can see that uh, like some properties re uh, prefixed with persons come out, and when I remove it, uh, it it is gone again. So this is really cool. Uh, currently, I have two uh, two uh, uh, part type uh, defined in my formatter, so which which is person and book. So when I tag person, like I will have person community person uh, photo, uh, photos, and then like th there's some uh, default value. I have some default value. Uh, is um, yeah, you can see that uh, it is invalid template because um, I for this person uh, photo. Uh, it should be a uh, it should be an URL. So if I write this now, it works. If if I remove it and then I click save, it comes out again. So it is very robust, right? And and yeah, I will show people. Uh, I will show you how how to do this. Uh, so basically, uh, you can achieve all these in just. 60 line of code and with some dummy code as well for example these four lines are just importing the types uh, oh these 10 lines actually just importing the types everything here everything i do to create this uh to create this uh, type properties feature is just 50 line of codes so basically i first define a schema which is a person schema it needs to have a person community person photo uh, the person photo need to be string and it has to be an URL. The default value is a placeholder, which is something like this, right? And then book, uh, same thing, uh, over URL, uh, the book URL. Okay, I should uh, write a URL as well, probably. Uh, this should be an Amazon URL, something like that, or, or, um, or like just some ISBN uh, URL to make me know that like I can refer to the URL but yeah it's okay I, I, I can leave it uh, as normal string for now and then book cover is just a normal book placeholder and then I have a common front matter and then I check whether the files tag has person whether it is a book and then I will assign the properties using this function then I will check Okay, if it is a person, then I will assign, I will based on this person schema, I will assign it to the results uh, your, uh, YML, uh, formatter. And then if it is a book, I will assign the properties to, to the results uh, formatter. That is. And then I run, uh, I run this command. Uh, this command is just defined by me. Uh, you 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 can you can uh, write something like that because uh, something else you can you don't you don't have to use this command. I just compile the code uh, because this is a TS code a TypeScript code. I need to compile it to JavaScript code first, and then I copy these all these, and then I paste it here. I paste it here. Then it's done. Oh, there, there's no change, right? Okay, person. Yeah, 
it it takes sometimes uh you can see that uh there's some delay because it takes some time for obsidian to uh to catch the the tag yeah when you define a catch uh when you define a type uh attack here actually uh what obsidian do behind the scene is that it it update the catch such that uh obsidian know that oh this file um has this tag and this tag is linked to other file so like this process require like some some uh need, need some times to do so that's why you can see the delay but now it works yeah if i if i uh remove the yeah if if i remove this and then change it back and then the 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 tag thing is gone yeah you can see that the tag thing is gone there's there's no more tag but uh well, there's no more tag property but if i bring this back and then i now i do this i do this yep it's come out so uh what i want to show in this video is that uh there uh for um uh, this fun matter plugin is actually very underrated and it is uh very powerful because it allows you to define your tag properties with just multiple lines of code it's just like 10 lines of code you can define a book schema you can define a tax like basically any tax schemas and and what you can do is also is that you can also create super tag what does it mean by um okay maybe maybe let 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 do let use another word tag inheritance so because i define the schema using um using um uh sold schema so basically anything you can do with sold schema you can do it with um you can do you you, you can do it with from matter template um more accurately because the from matter template is just is just javascript so anything you can do with javascript you can do with the from matter template which is extremely powerful and yeah i hope you learned something in this video and that's what all i want to share if you like this plugin if you like this video uh please like and subscribe my channel and then also start my github post thank you